Hi, everyone. It's Alicia with the DAC. Okay, I'm sorry for the quick pause, but I just, in the first second, noticed something. Look at this. This is how the video starts. Look at her face. She looks like a pageant contestant. This is how she leaned over to press, like, record on her phone. She's already on with the fake, like, smile and the fake everything. Why? So that she didn't even have to go and edit out the beginning of her, like, pressing play on record. She leans in to press play with like the Stepford white face on. Hi, buddy. It's Lisha with the Dockery Dozen. Fake. Hi, everyone. It's Alicia with the Dockery Dozen. And this is my weekly grocery haul for my family of 13. But first, coffee. Here's this week's dinner menu that we made together as a family. From there, I add in what we're going what it is with Lushy again with the quick pause forgive me don't forgive me what get that coffee up there 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 why okay first of all you know how I feel about plastic things I can imagine the smell of that cup and it makes me sick and the only reason she started using that clear club clear clear, clear, clear cup was because so many people were accusing her of drinking white claws in her old coffee mug thing <laughs> so she got this clear one okay she has now used this clear one for the longest time I don't think she's that good at doing dishes. The rags even that they use to do dishes, I can imagine how bad they smell and stuff. I picture this plastic cup has a smell and it makes me want to gag. And uh, uh, something about the color of that coffee, it's just so like, you don't really like the coffee. You like that cream or crap that you put inside. I picture the whole thing smells like rotting milk and it sickens me. Coffee. Here's this week's dinner menu that we made together as a family. From there, I add in what we're going to have for breakfast and lunch every day so I can make our grocery list separated out by areas of the store. Never starts in her own pantry, though. Has a fully stocked pantry that she just likes to watch rot. Never starts the shopping in her own pantry, which is what... You know, I, w I watch plenty of these large family shopping haul videos and stuff. That's what people do. You shop at home first, okay? You come up with your menu or whatever the fuck, and then they go through their pantries and they see what they already have and they knock that shit off of their shopping list. But we all know that's not how Lushy functions. How do you fill up 10 grocery carts when you buy things or when, when you don't have to buy things because you already have? She just likes hoarding. Oh, <laughs> but us poors can't afford to do our dish her dishes properly yeah that's her just being relatable what the fuck <laughs> what we are at walmart today it is almost 6 30 a.m uh i do have a big list today so i don't know we'll try and get through this <laughs> She's such a psycho. She had such a big list. She was so excited. She probably woke up like a lunatic in the middle of the night to do that fucking makeup and curl her goddamn hair. She goes, this is going to be a multiple cart shopping trip. I got to look good. She's so excited. It's 630 in the morning. She's at Walmart parked in front of Walmart in the dark because it's going to be a big one, guys. Why doesn't she use pickup? Because this is her content. <laughs> this is her content and the views have gone to shit. So she's pumping out so much content. I don't know if anybody else had noticed or you guys like watch Lushy or whatever. Uh, she had slowed down on the content even during December. She wasn't pumping out as much as like she has in the past. The views on her channel have gone to shit. She is now pumping out again multiple videos a day. She's gone back to that stupid morning routine crap that nobody wants to watch. If you go take a look over at her channel, all the morning routine videos, the views are horrible. And then you come to this, like the shopping videos, that's what the people are watching. You know what I mean? Nobody can stand to watch those fake morning routine videos because everyone knows all that food goes into the garbage. It's like painful to sit through how boring those videos are. She cooks like shit. And you know that all of that food is just going in the garbage. It's awful. I have another gripe with Lushy with what's going on lately. Okay, her views are in the shit and blah, blah, blah. I don't really care. She's made a shit ton of money uh, off of this channel. And, and, and the perks of having this channel with all its um, subs and things like that. She has, I mean, we see how much she spends. She's making so much money off of this shit. At the end of this video, she's going to let us know that they just passed their two-year YouTube anniversary, okay? This is a channel that has, like, 
I don't know exactly, about a million and a half subs. Let me open her tab. Uh, I just want to get the sub count right here. It's like, yeah, 1.49 million. So almost exactly a million and a half subscribers in two years. At the end of this video, she's going to let us know that she's doing a giveaway after two years with a million and a half subscribers. Keep in mind, this is a woman that we watched last Christmas spend $69,000 to just overdo everything for Christmas, okay? It's a woman who likes to spend. So she's announced that she's doing a giveaway for their two years on YouTube. Guess what she's giving away? There's going to be two winners and each winner wins $200. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I don't know why that really rubbed me the wrong way. Really? Like at that point, don't even do one. Don't even do a giveaway. That is so embarrassing to me. That is, so, I don't even have words. You should be ashamed of yourself. In my opinion, watching, like having the subs watch you blow through $69,000 at Christmas. And then as a thank you to them for following you for two years, you give away $200? $200. Keep in mind that last year, you know, every year Wegmans, their, their top um, customer or whatever, they get that gift card for 50 bucks. She won that gift card. She always wins that gift card. We watched her reaction last year to winning that gift card. You remember the attitude? The way she almost like scoffed at it because it was only $50 gift card. She's turning around with a million and a half subs, giving away $200. I would be embarrassed. I wouldn't even do the giveaway. Fast as we can. Let's go. All right. I did not bring enough bags last time. So I got a bunch of them this time. That's a great question. How did the sub count grow, but not her views? Her views were much, much higher. I'm, I'm sure the, the channel's not picking up as many viewers now. There, there was her heyday, I would say. It's about a year ago. The channel has been in decline for about a year, right? She was popular a year ago. The views were very, very high. You can go back and look on her channel, like hundreds of thousands of views per video, right? Um, and yeah, she was getting subs, getting subs. It was like, I want to say the era of the family YouTuber, the family vloggers and things like that. Now, with the obvious kind of uh, attention that they've been getting lately and beyond that, you know what I mean? You can't even blame like the Ruby Franks and other people for the decline of Lushy. After you watch someone, it's like, it's like the same thing with all of us and Chantal, right? After you watch somebody for so long, you get a sense of their patterns, the just pattern of behavior, the cycles they go on, the bullshit that you don't notice at the beginning. There's no way that you can know how they're bullshitting you until you know how they function. So you have to watch a little bit to realize how badly you're being bullshitted. And I truly believe that's what's happened with Lushy. So many people, you guys saw when we even started doing our reactions on YouTube to Lushy, we would have so many trolls coming in defending her. That doesn't happen so much anymore. There's still always like maybe a couple of people in the comments defending her, but the way it was like a wave of people coming in to defend her every single time we would react to her, that doesn't happen anymore. People have opened their eyes to Lushy, to the way the kids are treated, to the fact that the kids don't want to be in these fucking videos. Whatever happened with N, the, the, the scandals of giving away but not really giving away all those sandwiches and lying to the audience about it, watching her blow through $69,000 at Christmas. Uh, the list goes on and on, you know, but people have really started to change up their opinion about her. And so they don't want to watch anymore. And her views have gone to shit. Plus, I mean, there's only so many thousand times I can watch somebody make a fucking banana bread, you know? Okay. Next down, grab a coffee. 
Let's get out the shopping list. God, she's so fucking tedious. Right. She really, she's so like self-important. Very much like Chantal. I know I do compare the two of them a lot, but I do, I see so many similarities between them. I'm not talking about their bodies and stuff. The the narcissism, the self-importance, the main character syndrome. These two are so similar. It's gross. Me and I need more makeup remover wipes. Um, seeing if they have like a like big big pack. No. Don't even get me started on those wipes. I'm in a mood today. I'm going to pick on everything she buys. I don't care. This is the woman who for the longest time used uh, paper plates and plastic cutlery and shit like that. And why? Oh, it's the septic tank. It's the septic tank. There's nothing we can do with the septic tank. Okay. So you're destroying the planet with all that shit because of your septic tank. But now in every aspect of your life, you're buying like the, the, easy way out that pollutes the planet what do you need makeup wipes for what what that is so stupid how what is it called like your 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 footprint on this this earth or whatever how massive can this tiny bitch's footprint be Yes, thank you. Carbon footprint. I forgot the word carbon. Oh, that back neck, it's going to be a day. I was going to see if they had any more of my, whatever it's called, lip gloss. Um, that's not the exact shade, but it's very close. You can tell how bad that's going to be like as a color for her. Look at the color of her arm and look at the color of the tube. That's going to look awful on her. She's like, well, it's not the right color, but I'm going to buy it anyway, just to buy it. And the next time I come, I'll buy another one just to buy it. We up until recently have been doing our laundry at a laundromat. If you've ever like washed bedding at a laundromat, it just like destroys it. Like it destroys it. I'm like, well, imagine when you get the septic tank finally fixed. You can do your own goddamn laundry at home. <sighs> the bedding gets destroyed at the laundromat. Of course it does. Why? Because we're about to fill our cart with sheets and new bedding and everyone for the whole family. Yay. The performance art, of course. That's all. Uh, an entire cart for nothing. That probably wasn't even on her list. I love that for her. My God, she will buy anything. Um, I'm not sub to her. Fair. Uh, I feel I am, of course, and I know a lot of us are, because every time we get a notification when we're live, everybody says, she's live, she's live, she's live in the chat. And I go, stop it, I know, we all get the same notifications. I am, because I feel like I take one for the team. You know what I mean? When she goes live, okay, poop, and we all come together. So somebody's got to take one for the team. Let it be the one who hits, you know, go live. Okay, it makes sense. But temporarily, oh, Fuck yeah, I'm fucking unsubbing. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Maybe we should get some new bedding. All right, so let's get this. I don't even feel anymore like there's like a need to be subbed. I'm being totally honest here. There was during, let's say, Crackhead Olympics or during any interesting art going on um, I don't need to know the second she goes live or puts up a video that she's put up a thing. You know what I mean? Let's say when I come home from work and I'm like, okay, are we going to YouTube today or whatever? I'm going to take my little YouTube. I'm going to click the little button and I'm going to find out if she posted anything today. We so rarely snipe anymore. It's so fucking boring. Who would even want to? You know what I mean? I like to be able to speed her ass up and skip ahead where we can. And stuff. I don't feel the need to have those uh, like in the moment notifications anymore. Twins. All right, so 
Although, but I need a full and a twin because Jason's, it's like a bunk bed and Jason's is a full and Jordan's is a twin. So I like their bedding to coordinate. Now this would be perfect. I can't even see the price. My eyes are so shit. I'm like trying to like zoom in and zoom out. I can't see the price of those beds in a bag. For Dash and Bodie. I get Dash a full, even though his bed is a twin. I know this is so confusing because um, he has like a really thick mattress and the twin sheets just like pop right off of his bed. And who wants to wake up to, no, she on their bed. Oh, okay, okay. So that's the twin one. I'm guessing for, like smallest at the top. $29.96 for a twin. And it just goes up from there. Okay. All right, I was looking down here because sometimes they have them on the end cap as well. I was seeing if they had that striped one. I, I find Walmart sheets are very hit or miss. I've had, like, I've bought uh, quite a few in my past from there before. Most of them have been garbage, to be totally honest. But every once in a while, yeah, you hit some decent ones, you know. I find Costco, it's a uh, quite comparable price, very like mm, a little bit, maybe more than Walmart, but the quality is hella better than Walmart's. I see it. We're climbing. I'd have never stopped laughing if she fell off that cat thing and took the whole fucking tablet down with her. That would have been awesome. It's beautiful on a twin. Which is fine because that's what I do for dash, anyways. Okay, so I've got Deshaun, Dash Bodie, twins. How many kids is that? Five? Five and a friend. All right, um, the girlies like this teal one, they all have twins. Oh, this is insane. Why does everybody always need the same of everything? I don't know. I know some people's logic of like, well, Len, she only has to wash everything and just redistribute and stuff. But where is the individuality in that house? It always bothers me so much. Nobody ever gets to like pick anything of their own. They are one of a herd. And she like reminds them of that every day. Nice. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me, Jess. <laughs> Did you just say you're popping in and out like a bipolar turd? <laughs> I like it. And throw out the ones we have because at this point they are disgusting. Oh God, she's buying all the toilet brushes. All the toilet. Oh no. Oh, Lushy. Oh, no. How can every single bathroom at your house need a new toilet brush at the same moment? How badly are y'all exploding the toilets? All that fucking prepacked food they eat. I answered my own question. <laughs> oh, look at her setting up the shot. She makes me so mad. <laughs> her, she lines up the toilet brushes. And then it pops the Swiffer that way just to make sure that the Swiffer's in the shot. She's probably going to do a little TikTok from this store too. Buying all the cleaning stuff. Josh, meet me in the bathrooms. We got scrubbing to do. It's, it set me off into spring cleaning mode. I've been like bleaching every crevice of my house. Speaking of that been doing a lot of laundry. So let's up that laundry detergent. 
you are so close. Why? Why? <laughs> For the love of God, Lushy, you're taking gain. You're right there. Look around for the red bottle, apple, mango, tango. What the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? To be that close and yet still that far. Original gain, get the fuck out of here. And some fabrics. And another thing, if you're not even going to buy Apple Mango Tango because they don't sell that one at Costco, you're just going to buy regular schmegular. Bitch, go to Costco. You just bought three of those. You buy them at Costco. The bottle is much bigger and it's so much cheaper. But all they have is the peasant original gain. So I don't fucks with the Costco gain. You know, I only Apple Mango Tango it. <sighs> you can't find it in Toronto? <laughs> another thing that Montreal does better is what you're telling me, hijab cheese? No, 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 no. Maybe not where you are in the U.S., but I know that there are plenty, plenty of places in the States that have the apple mango tango. It's the red bottle. Just be on the lookout for the red bottle. It's the, it's the only one of gain. No, I think there is a purple bottle too. But it's the only red bottle again that there is. It's not in your state either. Oh my God. Look at Montreal. Fucking brilliant. Woo. You can't find it in London, Ontario either. That's a shame. <laughs> you found Ma Apple Mango Tango in my Walmart and haven't bought anything else since. I don't blame you. Who? Why would you buy anything else once you smell the Apple Mango Tango? You just got it on Amazon? Oh, that's cool. You ordered it on Amazon. Okay. Fabric softener is destroying your sheets, not the washer. That makes sense. That does make sense. For a long, long time in my life, I used laundromat washer dryers, right? But I have never used fabric softener because they make me itch. They always do. So I never have. I don't use those bounce sheets and shit like that either, you know? Uh, I don't find they destroy your clothes. I find people destroy your clothes, your sheets, your this and that, when they um, wash everything in super hot water. People think they're doing themselves a favor. Oh, things don't get clean unless it's in scalding hot water. No, that's how you destroy your shit. The only certain things you have to wash in hot ass water. Peasants don't know. And I know that sounds like so basic to so many people who are like, yeah, of course not. You, you would be so surprised how many people have no fucking idea about that. The only thing I ever wash in like scalding hot water has always just been my work clothes. Nothing else. If they get destroyed, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? But they need it. Nothing else I don't find needs it. Unless something gets like really badly dirty or you know what I mean? Like in general. All right. We got a duster. Yeah, you're right. I do like the towels with like really, really hot water. Uh, but even things like sheets, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wash them in just hot. I would make it quite hot. You know what I mean? But not, uh, not like scolding hot water. That would just fuck your sheets too. The corners of like a fitted sheet are gonna get fucked in no time. Oh yeah, Chantal's clothes could be the exception to that rule in a big fucking way because she doesn't wash her shit. You can't let things become that like nasty and fupa filled and not wash it. We're gonna try it before we had stopped using it, like it would leak. So I'm pretty sure we need a plumber to come assess that situation. But let's get dishwasher taps. And 
Oh yeah, he jab cheese. I agree with you. I'm just saying, not like the scalding hot water that's gonna take off your finger. I reserve that only for work clothes. <laughs> but pretty fucking hot. Like you'd be crying and wanting to remove your hand from the heat of that water. Yes. I do sheets, towels, okay, like and any like underpants, socks, things like that. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Anything that's been camping, oh get in there too. Like red or anything with these chemical stuff. I don't know, grosses me out. But yeah, I got pants for the twins and Patrick. Um, I guess we'll just go put this card up front and start a third card. I mean, it is pretty full. You still have plenty of space in that cart. Listen, I know she likes to just fill up carts, but this is an exaggeration. That one's not even really full. She's just going for a big shopping day today. Fill up as many carts as possible. She's half-assing these carts. Lushy, throw some more cleaning products in there. It's not full. Costco this week. I didn't get muffin bites. I've got to get. Actually, I wrote it on the back of this. Oh, we're going to oh, Costco. Okay. Juice boxes, sparkling water, Pedia Sure for Bodhi, and we get the Rayo sauce there and muffin bites. Also, my kids are off of school all week. It's February break here in New York. So, I'm going to drag a teen or you guys get February break in the States? We have March break here. It's February break? Huh. That's kind of nice. February is such a long seven months <laughs> to have the break then. God, I guess that makes sense. Or two with me to help. Okay, save that up front. And move on to the actual groceries. Oh, okay. I'm seeing most of you guys in the chat are like, no, no. Yeah, March is spring break. Okay, same. Stuff first. It is National Chili Day this week. Josh is going to make chili. He needs, actually, don't yeah. make chili powder. I wrote are you that fucking shitting me? It's, right fucking fe it's so. February. What are you talking about? Um, I'm Googling this. So he likes... Crushed tomatoes, stewed tomatoes, but he likes the stewed tomatoes that have the Italian seasoning in them. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So a bunch of stewed tomatoes. I'm just seeing if they have like a bigger jar, but not with the spices. Okay. Okay. I've just Googled it. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I guess it's a different school board thing because I live by the EMSB as I am an E myself, E being English. <laughs> uh, EMSB's March break is uh, March 4th until the 8th. Probably. I was going to say, I never had March break that early in my life. In February, never. Normal people. Um, because we're going to have chili on Wednesday and then chili cheese dogs with leftovers on Thursday. Crushed tomatoes. I know she's not a, she's not good at doing this. Oh wait a minute, I don't have that. Okay. She's not good at doing these as as much as she used to be because she doesn't care anymore. She doesn't want to watch like do this anymore. She's pissed. Her views are down. Now she's back to vlogging all day, all day, whatever the fuck she's doing. A million and a half videos a day and shit. Um, she doesn't want to do it. So yeah, she is kind of mumbling to herself like a crackhead that's well put. She doesn't give a damn. She's not even setting up the shots in the cart like she used to. The performance art isn't even there anymore. Lushy, it's like I don't even know you, Bish. Who is this? You know, I've noticed that a lot, not just with her, but with a lot of YouTubers who like, they were so, so popular. They got all these views and shit. And then they kind of declines, right? 
they never put in the same effort when they're not at that peak. And they, it's like forever we'll look at that peak as like, well, I'm not making those views anymore. I'm not, I'm not going to edit or I'm not going to this or that. Or like, you, you can just tell that they don't give two shits anymore. It's not the way it was. Her before Christmas, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before, she was like a different woman. You know what I mean? The the Oh my God. Everything she would put into the cart, unless it was slammed in performatively, was to sh set up the shot for like a pan over, a TikTok. The way she would talk to the camera and stuff, it was, she was on the whole time she was shopping. Now, she's just right now satisfying her shopping addiction, filling up the cart. She could care less about making this content. Yeah, I agree. I think she's badly burned out and it's it's beyond that even. If she's vlogging now all day again and trying to put out three and four videos a day and on multiple platforms, that means she can't just turn off the fucking camera, drink her goddamn White Claws and live her life the way she wants to, you know? She's gone back to always being on and people criticizing everything she does. She doesn't want to do this, but oh, look, look, she's setting up a shot. It's tomatoes. You're setting up canned tomatoes. Get out of here. Costco would be easier, cheaper, make more sense, much more efficient. But Costco, you can only fill up so many carts. The carts are bigger. The things are bigger. It's not the performance of needing to go grocery shopping three times a week, right? She loves stopping into a Waggies a few times a week. You buy everything at the Costco, it's done. That's why she hates Costco. She always fights people. She used to fight everybody also about going to the Walmart. She would rarely go to the Walmart, but now, now that the views are down, she's trying to be one of the people again. Look at us shopping at the Walmart. I did not make my way over to becoming a YouTuber until 2022. And anyways, a lot of what I do, like this stuff, is for my TikTok videos. All right, taco shells, we're having shredded pork tacos this week so i was taking a sip of my drink there she just said it herself a lot of what she does setting cans up in the cart and stuff it's for her tiktok videos so while she's making content she's thinking about other content she's taking breaks from this to go and do that it's so overdone to, overexposed you know fuck off i wanted to get That's right. She goes in the main entrance like a peasant. <laughs> 12, 24, and some of my kids like soft tacos, and we already have tortillas at home. I already have taco seasoning because I buy the big thing of it. I think we're good on salsa. I don't know what it is. Is it just me or is she like being extra slow and obnoxious this time? This is back into eating tuna, so I'm gonna get more tuna. Yeah, it's true. It's very much not like Lushy. Why is she slamming these things into the cart? I did write salsa down. Oh yeah, where you are, the Walmart isn't much cheaper than the grocery. That's interesting. Even like here, um, the wall. I would say the Walmart is quite cheaper than the grocery stores. If you if you're going to like fill up a cart on things like this, like packaged things and bottles and cans of food and stuff like that, every item is going to be like significantly cheaper than at a grocery store. So you save like quite a bit of money if you're buying, you know, a, a big thing of groceries like she is. Mm 
来哦。Yeah, you're kind of right about that, though, DG. Nowhere is cheap anymore. You're right. Look at the marinades. We're in the Speedy Grilled Chicken. Might have to get that at Wegmans. Queso is usually in the chip aisle. Uh, they don't usually write it down, but we almost always need ketchup. Oh my God. The ketchup will forever bother me. Go. You just said you're going to Costco. You need to go to Costco. You know, at Costco, you can buy like this gigantic thing of ketchup. Gigantic. Most people would be like, who the fuck needs all that ketchup? Lushy who buys multiple bottles of ketchup every fucking week. Why don't you just buy the big thing? You said you're going. What the hell? She buys knockoff everything. It's not just the ketchup. I don't know what it is with Lushy. She will buy name brand things only to show off the clothes, the shoes, the like electronic crap and like that kind of stuff. Always name brand, top of the line, whatever. But all of the food they eat, if she can buy it, will be uh, like the store brand. I don't get why. Exactly. I don't know why she doesn't just get the fucking can at Costco and fill up the bottles, you know? Mayonnaise, because Josh makes his tuna with mayonnaise. And then I got me a rice cooker for Christmas. She's making a lot more rice now that it's just super simple. You just like stick it in the rice cooker and cook it. It's the best rice ever. 20 pounds of rice. Chantal the other day had bought, it was a five kilo bag, right? So 10 pounds of rice. Imagine that they're a family of 13 people and they bought a 20 pound bag of rice, but Chantal and Chantal alone, because everybody knows the fake husband isn't there, needs 10 pounds of rice. <laughs> do have speedy oh my gosh okay awesome that saves me a trip to Wegmans and I can get that started marinating what the hell is speedy oh my gosh they do have speedy the fuck is that the fuck really oh they only have two bottles um do we see any other brand of speedy? Those Lowry ones look good. Oil. That's okay. We'll have to make two bottles work. Okay. You're right, Mud Slicker. That's right. It was a kilo. It was a five kilo bag. It wasn't a 10 pound bag of rice. It was a five kilo bag of rice. 11 pounds for a fat ass. But again, a family of 13 people bought 20 pounds. Oh, I don't know. Speedy is just, just basically oil and basic spices. That's just good. We ran out of the Alita cups this week. Oh, ah, okay. Like, I see. I was thinking it's like Italian dressing, sort of, that they put on a sub. That stuff. Interesting. Okay. God, she buys so many of those cups of Velveeta. Jesus Christ. She didn't even leave one for the other people. Nope. She's buying them all.
unpopular opinion, maybe. Oh, I know Americans, you love your Velveeta. I hate Velveeta. It's so disgusting. You get that shit in your mouth. You take a swallow of it. It's stuck in your mouth and in your throat for like fucking 25 minutes. It tastes so nasty. Chocolate chip. Yes, I totally agree with you. And even that I only want it once a year. You know, here, here in Canada, we call it craft dinner. So craft dinner once a year, it hits so fucking hard if you're baked or whatever. Ooh, yeah. But then you're done with it and you don't want it for another year. But Velveeta just, ugh, you don't even want it once a year. I'm going to get one of these. Oh my gosh, this was so good. This woman is so lazy. Again, she's making all these videos all day and shit. She's gone back very much to like the morning routine. We used to watch those. You guys know what I what I mean. Like uh, making banana loaves, morning routine for a mother at 11. And, so, and she'd make all those fucking loaves that nobody would eat. Or now she's on a muffin kick. She does this as content. These are her videos. She can't even just whip up muffins from scratch which is not complicated. Don't give me any lip. I'm no uh, fucking baker like that. You know what I mean? But muffins is a very simple one to whip up with like just, you know, the ingredients in your kitchen. She's buying container after container after container or whatever of boxes of uh, muffin mix. It's just nuts. Let's get cinnamon. Strew some. Need canola oil. She is addicted to the convenience, but it's ironic, right? When you call those kind of things your content, to also buy everything in the convenient version, it makes no sense. <laughs> Why'd you disrespect Dolly Parton like that? Why'd you chuck them in there? <laughs> Those Dolly Parton boxes are so cute. We don't have that here, of course. Cooking spray. Just it in there. Cooking spray. The thing fucking explodes in her face. <laughs> oh, fuck. Calm down. Pancake mix. You know, pancakes are so complicated to whip up on your own. Oh, and this one always kills me. Uh, this woman lives in New York State. Eh? New York State has the same fucking trees that we have here. You might not have the same production in the states of maple syrup vermont does you know what i mean why in the fuck would somebody who has access to maple syrup real maple syrup all year round in the store why would they buy this shit i will never understand this never ever ever syrup syrup is for if you can't get your hands on maple syrup for whatever reason or if like maple syrup is so goddamn expensive or whatever you know fucking hell Lushy wasting $69,000 for Christmas, but she can't buy her kids fucking maple syrup to put on their box pancakes. Kills me. Syrup. And Josh likes celery salt in his tuna. So I'm going to get more of that. Maybe if I can find it. Onion salt. Costco. Maple syrup at Costco. Oh my God, you get these containers. Well, I'm sure it's like probably more where you are. Quebec is like the capital of maple syrup of the world. But we get these containers of uh, maple syrup at Costco. It's like $15 or $16. You get such a shit ton of maple syrup. And then, you know, there's like the Costco, the business Costco, business center or whatever. Y'all, they have barrels of <laughs> 
massive barrels of maple syrup for sale there and stuff. That's a little nuts. But I mean, it, yeah, if if uh, maple syrup is expensive where you are, highly recommend. Look for it at Costco. All right, we're in alphabetical order. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Of course we don't eat the, any other syrups. We know better. Seriously, this stuff is so good in tuna fish and um, chicken salad, really anything. I love this stuff. All right, I ran out of Pepsi this week. I had to drink Coke. I go back and forth between the two. Ooh, Taz, thanks for the info. Mr. Snowflake just uploaded to members only the Chantal episode one. Dun, dun, dun. I have some Ritz crackers for the charcuterie boards. Let's get Nutella and bread. Nutella for the Nutella pancakes. Fucking maple syrup for everything. And he, my mom always used maple syrup instead of sugar in her coffee. She would put like a half a teaspoon of a maple syrup always and called it a maple latte. It's delicious. You know, it really, fucking maple syrup is the bomb. Maple syrup is such a thing here. I am waiting. I'm so excited. We have a thing here called le temps du sucre, the time of sugar, and it's coming. And that means it's maple time when they, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's coming early this year too, because the weather has been so mild and shit. We're getting an early season of le temps du sucre and the cabana sucre, that's the sugar shacks are about to open. I'm so excited to go and stuff my face. How could you hate maple syrup? What is there to hate? For real. Buns. Whoop. For chili cheese dogs. Get some sandwich bread. Oh no, she's gonna buy all the bread again. Oh no, she's gonna pelt them at the cart. I hate when she throws the bread. Oh my God, the dog has been sleeping next to me pretty much since we went live, okay? He has now rolled over in his sleep. His, okay, the mouse is like right next to him with my hand on it. His butt is on top of my hand. So I now have my fingers flexed down to support his butt up in the air so he doesn't press the mouse buttons. Bagels. And coffee. There it goes. I often say I can't get an inch of space in this house. I, this is like the epitome of my life. <laughs> no mouse for you. Hold my asshole up in the air. I still have a bunch of chips left from the Super Bowl stock up. But I do want to go to the chip aisle and grab the queso. There it is. Is that coffee expensive? I have no idea. I have no sense of like the co the different prices of coffees, let's say, in your country. Um, but I D Dunkin' Donuts is so bad. I can't imagine it would be much better and like 
homemade coffee versus at the Dunkin' Donuts? Why would you buy that? Ugh. Okay. I think this cart is good. Okay. Okay. Let's go put it up front. Me too, Beesh. I'm such a cheap motherfucker, but I consider coffee to be one of my, like, priorities in life. It is what it is. I am a... <laughs> I'm a snooty coffee beesh. Not snooty enough for, like, a fancy Breville machine, but snooty enough for an espresso pods. We needed a lot of stuff today. All right. That's the guy up front. Move on to... Yikes. Soldiers is better than Duncan. That says it all. With, like, the eggs and stuff. Right, let's just see where we're at. We got... All of this. Right, we'll do so... Slander and lies. Let's go back into the dairy and produce, and then we'll get the meats and frozen. Part four. Part four. She's so excited. I like my coffee, but in small amounts, like three sips. Oh, that's so cute. I like my coffee in like the same serving sizes that Chantal eats rice. Give me hubcaps of coffee. Just, just throw it at me and I'm going to hold my mouth open. You know, throw it at my face. Okay. I love these packs of five dozen eggs. Uh, for anybody again keeping track, she, just, she buys as many eggs as Chantal and Salad do, and they're a family of 13. Same amount of eggs. Cuckoo. these so I'm gonna stock up because they're home this week which means they like eat all day okay you know what's the funniest thing too that okay we know that they're home this week she said it multiple times every day she's been making content or pretty much every day about like preparing them their lunches but they're not going anywhere. And she goes, oh, no, it's easier if I just prepare their lunches. And then when they want to eat, like, it's right there in their lunch boxes and stuff for kids that are all staying home. Again, I have no children. Okay. But maybe that makes sense for the little kids. Because it's like they'll just suddenly walk up to you and be like, feed me. I'm hungry. Whatever. Kids are so, uh, like, unpredictable little kids. Hold on. I don't know how to block anyone on this. Let me figure it out. Hold on. Hold on. Stop moving. Aha. Uh -huh. Delete. Time out. Ban. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't have any kids and stuff. I, I guess I could see this making sense for little kids. Again, just because of how they are. I need to go to the bathroom. I want a crayon. I want lunch. You know what I mean? You never know what's happening, whatever. But the older kids, again, there's like, there's an 18 year old in that house. There's a 17 year old in that house. Like, come on. The older kids, when they're hungry, they can't go and make themselves a goddamn sandwich. But then she wouldn't have the performative art of making all those lunches for a video. Just have a nanny yogurt. Got a couple left. Snack these. Usually get these 
packs, but we have a stockpile of Oreo yogurts right now. So I am just gonna eat that much at once. Still have other yogurt and sour cream for taco night. God, stop throwing things! Stop it! I can't wait till she's gonna throw something like liquidy one day. It's gonna break and just pop back in her face. Then she's gonna be all gentle with the groceries from then on, but I can't wait to see it. Um, I'm gonna get like a vanilla almond milk, chocolate milk. I get uh, vitamins for our local dairy. Oh no, she buys the milk in my opinion for most of the kids because spoiler alert, the kids don't eat those fucking performance uh, breakfasts that she does for them on videos. She it's it's happened before where later in the day you can catch her like let's say live on uh, another platform and she'll pan by the kitchen and you can see that the breakfast is still just rotting away on the counter. The kids don't eat that shit. I have a feeling the kids often just eat cereal. So that's why there's always so much milk going so quickly and when she buys cereal you remember the entire cart full of cereal yeah Another th like if you're going to Costco, why would you buy those big bags of cheese at Walmart? That just doesn't make sense. Still have strong cheese left. To fill up another cart? Yeah. Get some mozzarella. Oh yeah. Almost every time they eat the fast food, it, it's cold by the time they eat it. if Even if it's like DoorDash, let's say, or whatever to their house and it arrives warm, by the time she sets up all the, let's say, burgers and the fries and whatever and does her pan over shot for YouTube shorts, for the TikTok, for this and that, it's going to be cold once they eat it anyway. And, oh, God, you remember when she dropped the fries on the floor? Just pick them up off of, and I, I'm sorry, not sorry. I don't think of this woman as particularly clean. You drop something on the floor of that that house, it's done. There's no five second rule. There's no nothing. That is, bleh. she drops the entire thing of fries on the floor. Just picks it up, puts it back on the spread. You know, disgusting. Sliced cheese is around the corner. Much time at the cheese. Oh no, the bananas, not the bananas. In the arms. Oh. Those bananas are all going in the garbage. Some of them will have been peeled and turned into banana breads because she's into making a loaf lately. But the kids don't like bananas. The kids have said this so many times. She keeps buying the bananas because it's easy to make a banana bread. Ironically, it's also then easy to scoop that banana bread into the trash. Josh puts spinach in the chili. Spinach in the chili? So, uh, excuse me, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She actively avoids eating and buying vegetables. Why would you put spinach and chili? You don't eat the vegetables in the places that there should be vegetables, but then you're throwing bags of spinach into chili? The fuck is the matter with you? Oh, 
<laughs> performative cynic probably. There. There. You can tell what the kids will actually eat based on the quantity she puts in her. Baby carrots? Oh, they ain't eating the baby carrots. Look how many fucking baby carrots you buy. Yep. Good point. With so many people without food now and the prices of food being what they are, that, you know, that, that really is a good point. I bet that does factor into her, or partly anyway, her, her declining viewers. If you, let's say, are having struggles buying and feeding your own family, you know, buying the groceries and you're worrying how you're going to, watching her perform her fucking breakfast routine that you know is going to go straight into the garbage would piss me off and just make me sad. Okay, four bags of us. You know, it would be a, like a cool thing. I don't mean it to sound preachy. I'm just saying she needs content lately and she needs to try something new because the same old, same old is not working in that same old way. Imagine if she took her grocery list like she wrote it out right now and totaled it up. Being like, if I went to Walmart, let's say, and bought this whole list, here's what it would have costed. Okay. And instead of doing that, she goes into her pantry and she looks around at her ingredients and she comes up she comes up with a menu for the week that uses I don't know 75% things she already has and maybe the only thing she would have to go out and buy is like produce and maybe some meat you know what i mean to build around the things she already has and then whatever the total of that grocery bill is deduct it from the total that your original menu had costed and donate that money to uh, a food bank in your neighborhood, something to do with food and helping people. I think people could really, really get behind that kind of um, content. It would be something different, something new. I, I don't know channels who have done that. Certainly not these fucking wasteful uh, family channels and stuff. I think people would watch that. I know I would watch that. And right now people, there's, you know, some people could, could really take away something from that content. Be like, oh yeah, I never thought to like, create a menu around my existing pantry stuff. Let me see if I could do it. It could, I don't know. It could actually benefit some people, give some people some ideas, but nope. Then she doesn't get to go and buy seven grocery carts full of food, asshole. Again, instead of donating the money to a food bank or whatever, she could still go to Walmart, go to wherever, buy the seven grocery carts on that money that she was going to donate and go and donate all that food. Why are the peppers in Walmart? Hmm. Oh, that's right. Up front there. Um, there's this channel. I don't know if anybody has heard of her. I have a real like, like a love hate with this woman. I do like her content. I watch her sometimes. And then sometimes I'm watching and I'm like, how can you be so young and live like this? Like you are wasting your youth. She just, she gets on my fucking nerves sometimes and I have to walk away. Her name is Becky. Her channel is called Acre Homestead. Have any of y'all seen Becky? I also think there's some religious aspect behind the whole thing. Which at least she does. She never mentions, never forces down your throat. I respect that, you know. But there's just something a little bit sad about Becky. I feel bad for Becky. I do. So I watch Becky sometimes, but like I said, then sometimes I I can't fucking take it anymore. Um, and I just start yelling at the screen like, "This is your youth. <laughs> You're gonna be like, I don't know. You could be like in the kitchen all day long for the rest of your life, bitch. God damn it, Becky." God damn it, Becky. Enjoy your youth. Get out of the kitchen. Oh, no. What I like about Becky is she's such a klutz. She's always like spilling things and dropping things. and stuff. I don't know. Again, I have a love-hate with this woman. But when the hate hits, I, I have to step away.
I, I follow her for my garden. That garden, again, love and hate. I, I love the idea of the garden and like growing all your shit and stuff. That's very cool. But to do it in a $100,000 garden, it's just so content. It's like you've turned it into content house at this point. So I hate it. But I also, wow, that garden is so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I really go back and forth with this bitch. Totally, totally agree. It's probably the thing I respect her about the most. Now, the baby is still a baby. I hope to God it stays that way as the baby grows, but it seems like it. A lot of people have actually said the theory about, I'm sorry, this is a sidebar about Becky, uh, that in the home they're in now, there's it's, it's actually a lot bigger than she lets on that home. And there's like two sides to the home. She's got sort of her filming side and then there's the side that they live in. It's a, th a there, there's snark pages about her too. You know, um, it's a big theory people have online. So that's why you never really, or very rarely hear the baby in the background or things like that, where you'll catch the baby is when she does her voiceovers and things like that. So she's not actually on camera. That makes sense. Yeah. You're sitting with your baby, but, uh, that's what a lot of people think. So she never has to show any part of like the home, the, the part of the home where they're living and do any of their living. You've never seen even once something like, I don't know, an empty bottle of a baby. When, ha when have you ever, ever seen anything to do with a baby? Never. It makes a lot of sense. So like that whole side of the house, plus the garden, that's, that's her content. That's content house, you know? And yeah, she legit apparently did spend about a hundred thousand dollars renovating that backyard to make her garden beds. One more cart. All right, one more cart. Exactly. Never Part even seen the car seat in the car. Exactly. Sandwich meat. Okay, I see a lot of you either know about Becky or are like grossed out that this whole thing costed a hundred grand. I think we may have to watch a Becky video. Not today, but maybe the next time we twitch or whatever. What are the next times anyway? I'm gonna show you guys Becky for those who don't know about Becky. Uh huh. Well, we'll I'll purposely pick a video that's very outdoor heavy. I'm not I don't care to watch her fucking klutz around the kitchen and cook her shit and stuff. But no, no, no. Let let's see that hundred thousand dollar garden. Been ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting bored with this shopping all. I don't know. There's something about the meat. You know, I don't like the big meats. I don't like the cold cut things like that. It grosses me out. We get over it. Oh, I know where the burgers are. They're behind me. Back by the meat. All right, let's grab the meatballs. Okay, those meatballs are going to suck. I'm a frozen meatball snob. <laughs> It is what it is. You're buying frozen meatballs. At least look for like the best frozen meatballs you can find. What would that be? I don't even know. Maybe like an Angus beef meatball? Ooh, a like triple A grade beef meatball, something like that. You buy the not the knockoff, the store brand cheapest possible meatballs. 
God damn, those are going to suck balls. Seven times six, whatever that is. Yeah, for real. Make your own damn meatballs. That could be content. Her who's looking constantly for content. Imagine having access to all those tiny little hands and you don't put everyone to work. If everybody made like four meatballs, bam, meatballs done. You'd have all those meatballs done in like a minute. Every kid, go wash your hands, come and stand around this island. Every kid has to roll four meatballs. And then you go and wash your hands again and you add them a fucking kitchen. Boom, done, one minute, done. What is the point of 11 little toddler? Well, they're not all toddlers, but 11 little sets of hands if you can't put them to work. All they have to do is roll a meatball. Is that too much? Garlic bread. Texas toast. Frenchie, that child labor. I was born in the 80s. That's just life. Child labor. can't just make some fucking garlic bread. What's the matter with you? Texas toast. Why buy it frozen? Because she's so goddamn lazy. Garlic bread. It's like the easiest possible fucking thing you can make. I'm sorry, but if you have to buy 16 boxes of everything at a certain point, I don't care how much money you're making. Why are you just throwing it away? Go and get some fucking bread. Make your own garlic bread. You are so fucking lazy. And yet this like cooking and homemaking bullshit is your content. How can you be so lazy about it? All right. There are two receipts. I usually have to do two transactions at Walmart because it times out after a certain amount. So this is the first one. Oh, and then sometimes my bank thinks my debit card was stolen. So that was denied twice. So then I had to use my credit card. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to see the total. Oh, my eyes are so bad. $1,174.75. All right, then there's the other bill. Hold on. So now I got to remember to pay my credit card. Oh, let me pay it. And here is the second transaction. What is it? Wait, five ninety six. dollars So like $600? So it's what, like uh, 1775 ish dollars. Wow. 